Rope, rope, girl, girl, therapy. Hi, guys. It's me, Stephanie Megan, your host of Broke Girl Therapy. And we got Nathaniel Lusk here with me. Ah, And then we just finished this episode with Andrea from Love Island. We love Love Island, especially the USA one right now. Yeah, which is new because I used to only love the UK. Yeah, but the (laughs) USA season, I mean, we love season five with Cassie and all of our like people. Yes. So past two seasons, I'm getting into it. Season five was so good, but season six has been just like next level Drama. crazy. <laughs> like it's so like everyone that they casted is so dramatic and I love it. <laughs> well, know? also it's just like this is the first season that I'm watching like um like nightly. Do you know what I mean? I've usually mm. like missed a couple episodes and then binged a bunch, but now it's just like I'm waiting for 6 p.m. Speaking of, there's no new episode tonight and I'm devastated. I mean, talking to Andrea today was literally our episode for the day. That's nice. You're right. I, like, filled my, like, Love Island quota today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we got, like, some tea, you know? Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So, you guys, we just did this episode with Andrea from Love Island. Just a little bit of a background story to remind you guys. She was a bombshell with uh, Nicole, and she came in with an agenda, and she got <laughs> okay. She, I don't know. It was really like cheesy, but she came an in with an agenda. <laughs> no, but she came in and she stole ready Leah's for love. ready for love, and she stole <laughs> Leah's man, which was Rob. But everyone was like so taken back by the whole situation because I think Rob and Leah were like a fan favorite. Like they were definitely mm-hmm. a strong couple. And even at one point, I was like, I think they'll last long. I think, like, maybe he'll get tested at Casa, but I think that, like, they they really like each other. I think this is going to be one of the strongest couples. And literally, like, an episode later, like, Andrea walks in and just, you know, vibes with Rob, and Rob gets (laughs) with Andrea. That was dramatic as fuck. That was, you know. (laughs) What did you think about that situation when you were watching it? Well, you know, like... Were you team Rob and Leah? I think... Well, I think he just, like... We were talking about this. Like, I think when you have an OG cast, like, they're just, like, the first people in there, you, like, tend to, like, feel like, oh, like, I want to see everyone there work out. So when a bombshell walks in, like, it's, like, a... Like, kind of a... Like, no! A shock value. And you, I think automatically you're, like, no, how dare you break up these couples? But, like, I think Andre and Rob are, like... A, I, they're a cute they're a cute couple so i was like i'm not like you know so against it but i do love leah so i was sad to see her sad yeah i was sad because <laughs> i love leah and rob and i love leah more than rob i think and so i was really like rooting i think i just like the girls more than the boys but like i was just that usually happens that usually happens um uh, because i was thinking about it, i was like i'm not even like curious to have any of the guys on the pod but like, i want like all the girls so i like <laughs> loved leah and was rooting yeah. for that relationship so of course like my instant reaction as a viewer was like pissed that andrea was coming in and taking her man but then, like, seeing their dynamic, I was like, oh, they, like, really, really like each other, you know? So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just think that Rob, obviously, I don't know, like, what is the proper way to go about, like, leaving one woman to another? Like, people are always like, the way you did it was so disrespectful. The way, you know, like, he could have done it better. But it's like, what is a good way of doing it, especially when you have a strong connection? There's no way. I don't that's know. Why it makes I, good reality I can't TV. remember. I can't remember exactly, but I also didn't love the way he did it. Because I could just tell he liked Andrea so much. And I think he was, like, trying to, like, tell Leah, like, oh, you know, like, I'm going to, like, try and, like, do both. I don't know. So I think I didn't love the way he did it. But but it's a complicated scenario. When yeah. are you doing this? So, I mean, like, you know, there's no judgment toward, like, how he handled it. Because he's, like, figuring out how to do it in real time. But it was it was wild to watch. And I just... I love Leah, so I I think we love the girls, so we never want to see the girls sad. Yeah. So it's not it's not so much like I hate Rob and how he handled it. It's more like 
I love the girlies. <laughs> and right, I'm sad when right. they're sad. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what people usually like get drawn to is like the girlies, you know, like people love the girls. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming it's mostly women watching the show. Like I can assume that's the demographic. And gay men. Well, and like, and, men. and girls and girls boyfriends. Because yeah, let I, me tell you. Because Brian watches Love Island with me. <laughs> okay. And like Emma and David, my old roommates, like they definitely watch Love Island. And her boyfriend is way more into it, so. Yeah, the boyfriends are always, like, so much more into than you realize, yeah. It's a, it's a secret. They won't tell yeah. you, but, like, they love it. They love it just as much, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, but, you know, I was obviously very, like, loyal to Leah at one point. But just seeing, like, the connection between Andrea <laughs> and Rob was, like, okay, like, it was worth it, you know? It was worth to break up this mm-hmm. connection because you clearly really like this person. So... Mm-hmm. But then obviously, you know, Andrea, spoiler alert, Andrea gets kicked off the villa, you know, early. And <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, and like that. <laughs> the villa. Uh, she gets kicked off Tonight. early. Tonight. Do you, uh, I love I was Previously on. <laughs> No, it's always I anytime it starts I go tonight. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what? This is crazy. We're really scattered. How We're... much of this <laughs> How much of this Stop are you thinking? Gonna... Don't I can always edit things. Don't I know, think I about always... it. You always think okay. about it too much. Relax. Yeah, I can always fine. edit things out. Oh, okay, fine, you're right. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah. I know. So yeah. yeah, so we have Andre on the podcast <laughs> to talk about it because she clearly left the situation too soon. It wasn't the choice of hers or Rob's and they clearly had a strong connection. So I was, you know, wanted to get some tea on how she feels about you know, getting booed or not getting dumped from the island and now seeing the man that she likes, you know, every night on television flurry with yeah. other women like that's crazy you know so yeah. so yeah um and i it's love so her much, i love andrea oh, she, I this love was such a great her. combo so i hope you guys and she enjoy so cute you guys will love it <laughs> i thought her hair and makeup on point so yeah love island is currently as we're recording this it is wednesday july 10th every single night besides hump day aka today there's a new episode so like things are just progressing super fast and I'm posting this episode ASAP just so that, like, we could be, you know, on it. So, yeah. Um, enjoy this episode yeah. with Andrea. She is lovely. She might be my new favorite now. This episode of Broco Therapy is brought to you by Quinn Wellness, a brand dedicated to empowering women's sexual exploration and pleasure. Quinn is crafted for women by women and you can tell because y'all their vibrating wands are incredible and you know that i love me a vibrator like i use it on my own i use it in bed with my boyfriend i just love the vibes and quinn has really been a game changer for me and let's talk about their lubricants as somebody who needs lube in bed i've tried a lot of different products i've tried a lot of different brands and there's some brands that definitely irritate your thing down there and what i love about quinn superkins is that it's ph balance it's non-irritable and it just feels good like i feel clean afterwards and what i love about it is that it's long lasting because there's nothing worse than putting on lubricant and then five seconds later you have to do it again no Quinn Lubricants is literally super high quality and I really enjoyed myself. And the best part is, you guys, is that you could order Quinn on Amazon. And I know that's a huge perk because most of you are Amazon girlies, such as myself. So order Quinn, Q-U-I-N-N Wellness on Amazon or go to the link on my profile and receive 15% off your purchase with my code one five broke girl again my code is one five broke girl for 15 percent off your purchase oh my god (sighs) okay i just we need to jump in i'm so excited that you're here so just to kind of like start from the beginning how did you get casted for love island 
So I actually like went on an ad two years ago that I saw on Instagram and I was like, is this real? Whatever. I applied and then I went through the first process and they loved me or whatever, but I kind of like chickened out and I was like, you know what? I don't think this is for me right now. So I ended up just like not going through the rest of the process. And then the casting director, Nashe, that I worked with that time, she reached out to me on my way to Coachella this year and she was like, hey, girl. We're like going through the process of like casting again and they really liked your last clip. Would you be open to like trying out again this year? And I was like, honestly, like I'm single. I don't know anyone, anything right now. I'm like, this is my summer. So yeah, let's do it. And yeah, that's how it happened. I love that. So what did did the casting process look like? Was it, you know, like how do they even audition? How do you audition for something like that? So you just go through multiple, like kind of how we're chatting now. They just want to get to know you, see like if you're going to be a good fit. It's not really like in like audition, like how you do for like uh, like a movie or something where right. you have first eight lines. It's kind of just they want to feel you out, see if you can carry yourself, hold a conversation, you know, if you're going to instigate things or like, you know, go after guys or not. You know, they don't want you just like sitting around. That's not good TV. So. Exactly. And I was going to say like your time on Love Island was, was short, unfortunately, but you – you're like your story like lives on you know like even though you're not there like you we feel your presence we know that like that drama happened yeah so what was that like just being a bombshell and just entering the villa and yeah because you you bombed and not in, in a good way like you literally like way. i'm coming in and i'm taking your man you know yeah um it was <laughs> such like um a thrilling experience I guess kind of like the producers too like preps me really well like they're like for me and Nicole they're like you know like get in there be confident like do your thing like remember like these people have only been coupled up for like four days because you know like going in you're like damn like it's intimidating you're like these people have strong connections they've been together for whatever but you think about it like okay it's only been a short amount of time um so I just went in there like guns blazing like everybody I feel like came for you because I came for the strongest couple but like I'm not here like clearly like it's like a game you play like listen if I wanted to play the game right how maybe I should have yes I could have gone for like maybe a weaker connection Mm -hmm. but I wanted what I wanted so I'm I'm gonna go in there go after who I want and hopefully works out for me and it went pretty well (laughs) but it was it was kind of it was intimidating like going in obviously in that moment but I feel like I just like locked in in like the entrance of Nicole and we kind of just had each other's back, supported each other, and it made the process so much easier having her there for sure. I was going to say, did you know that you like wanted to go for Rob right away or were there other like contenders you were thinking of as well? Yeah, I my first like pick like when I saw like the lineup definitely like aesthetics wise was like Rob. And then I got to watch like a few episodes before going in and I loved like Mm -hmm. Aaron's accent. And I was like, okay, like he's like (laughs) a little spicy, he's a little bubbly. They're so opposite. So I was like, they're like yin and yang on personalities. And I gravitate to both type of guys. So I was like, okay, like, let me just like pick two that like, you know, just in case one doesn't work out. And then of course they're like both the strongest couple. The strongest connection. Yeah. So I'm like, (laughs) I'm like, well, this is just great for me, you know, just going in, just like, you know, but at the end, I had to keep reminding myself, like, okay, yes, it's so weird. Like, no girl wants to go after, like, a guy who has a girl with them, but that's not ideal. So it was really tough for me to just, like, block that out and just remember, like, they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, they yeah, just yeah. met. So They totally. literally just uh, met. Yeah. Yeah. But time moves fast. Yeah, I was going to say, because I feel like even yeah. at that point, as a viewer, like, watching the show, like, I will say, like, I was so team Leah and Rob, you know? And so when you mm-hmm. came in, it was like, oh, oh, my God. Like, it really shook like, things up. And I was, like, <laughs> right. Like, I was sort of, <laughs> like, I was sort of upset. But then also, like, seeing your guys' connection, I'm just like, okay, but, yeah, like, Leah and Rob probably only knew each other, what, like, four days at that point? Like, you, yeah. you coming in if you felt a strong, strong connection this is love island this is what you're supposed to do exactly. you know yeah so like how did you handle like i guess maybe this is like a post like villa question but like how did you handle that reaction from the audience that were maybe team rob and leah mm-hmm. yeah i mean i saw it coming for sure at the end of the day like i know oh. how the show works like once like, people couple up people are already like supporting them they want to see it through they want to see them make it to the end so i knew there was going to be like a bunch of controversy around it. I knew she for sure had her fans, her supporters. But 
being in there and spending the time that I did with him and knowing like the second we met, like we instantly, like Rob and I just like clicked instantly. It wasn't like, couldn't make it up, couldn't describe it. We just clicked. So I was like, we moved fast and everything with us just felt natural. It didn't feel like forced. So I wasn't like playing the game or whatever. Like this guy seems like I can know. Like it was real and I felt what I felt and I went for it. So I was like, okay, like, yeah, yeah. America might like hate me because I took like Rob from Lear or whatever. And I was like, okay, like maybe they'll see that it's real and like maybe we're better for each other and someone better for her is going to come along. Um, but no, that's not what America thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just truly, oh my God. I just truly think if you had more time, they would have definitely loved you guys. I just think that like they were, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just think that people like get so obsessed with like, you know, the mm -hmm. love in the beginning they want that to like really hold on to the to the end you know but like that's just not that's not even how dating works that's, honestly that's not even how dating works and yeah it's an understatement because leah's fans stands. are ruthless ruthless, ruthless. <laughs> yeah. i would i tell you that i have thick skin my skin tripled since oh. like the middle my god because, i'm sorry that you have to receive that yeah. much hate because it's just it's just tv like people get so invested and i and mm -hmm. i do too and i even have to catch myself being like this <laughs> like, is not real like it's real yeah. but it, like it, this is yeah. a different world this is not a real reality you know so well, yeah it's funny because i'll never i'll never be someone to like leave a comment like of my opinion on love island but like i'll yeah. go read them i'll go read them yeah. <laughs> i'm like you I'm like, like, these are like the comment like preach like <laughs> right yeah. you're like i'm just I gonna mean... like it i'm not gonna say anything <laughs> but... <laughs> but like i'll just be a second yeah, in those so comment mean. sections. I'm like, you don't actually know these people. Why are you? No, they don't. <laughs> and if you that that to me is just so funny. Like all my all my friends and family. This was the funny thing for me because <laughs> when I was in the villa, when I was in the villa, I was like, yeah, of course. Like Leah has her supporters, like as she should, as we all do. I'm like, I'm for yeah. sure gonna get shit for that. But I'm like, oh, but people are gonna also like love me and Rob, which a lot of people did. I've getting been getting so much love and support on that. Like people see it, like whatever the case may be yeah. but when i left the villa, like the heat of the moment when i first left i first got my phone back and i didn't even go on socials all i saw was messages from friends and family like hey babe how are you like don't listen to what they're saying like we know that's not you like you you got a bad end it whatever like like don't worry i'm just like wait what are you talking about i'm like what do you mean and oh I, my I god FaceTime my best friend immediately and i'm like sis tell me right now before i go on social media what the fuck happened she goes don't go on instagram and i was like i'm gonna go on instagram what do you mean <laughs> she's like don't open it wait till you get home with us i'm like i'm not coming home anytime soon i need to open it she's like okay well um every loves leah so i'm like fuck me. <laughs> oh my god yeah because yeah, how would you yeah. know when you're in that world you know like you just you yeah. don't know who's a fan favorite you don't know like what people are thinking Dang. Yeah, but it was more so like it was more so like I feel like the younger crowd and like people that don't really watch reality TV because everyone that's come up to me in person and like, you know, said hi to me and asked for pictures, whatever. They're all like so supportive of me and they like they all like were pissed that they voted me out. So like I feel like like people with like I don't even want to know how to describe it, but people that understand how TV works and just connections in general are supportive on both ends. Like they don't hate Leah, but they also really support me and wanted to see me go um, like right. with Rob. So, I don't know. It was, it was really overwhelming, to say the least. Yeah, I can imagine. Ooh, that's wild. That is, yeah. yeah. So, going back yeah. to, like, when you were in the villa, <laughs> like, what was your relationship like with Leah? It was good. Oh. So, like, this is the whole thing that I feel like everybody wants, like, me to hate Leah or Leah to hate me. And first of all, like, Leah and I never had hate. And she's probably going to come out and be like, what the fuck? Like, why is everybody saying that we hate each other? Um, Obviously, we're not going to be, like, besties because she still had love for Rob. And I have a C liked Rob. So it's kind of like a wall that was kind of between us. Like, I feel like it's hard to be close to somebody that's dating somebody like coupled up with somebody that you really like. It's weird. Yeah. Whether it's TV or not, it's an uncomfortable thing. But her and I were like, you know, we like we were chatting in like the dressing room. I would say the first like day that I coupled Whoa. up with him, obviously there was still like weirdness between us. But what happened was is right after the recoupling, I pulled her aside for a chat and I Ooh, watched We it didn't back. see that my chat was nothing <laughs> there was but, no sign of that no sign so like that's also why like i was so like confused why people were coming for me i was like what do you mean like i did talk to leah um after the chat um. after the recoupling rob and i immediately went to soul ties so we were just like okay 
I finally want to have my moment with him. Like we're finally coupled up. Like let's just hang. But then after like we were up there and I was talking, I was like, I really want to just like talk to Leah. I want to just like clear the peace, whatever, like just not make things weird. And he was like, yeah, I definitely want to talk to her too. But like not tonight because like emotions were very heightened that night. So I pulled her aside and he also during the recoupling, she had a necklace on and she gave it to him to hold because she don't want to wear it anymore. So she still had it in her pocket. So I'm talking to her and I'm like, hey, I'm going to apologize. Like if I blindsided you and I wasn't honest with like how I was feeling towards Rob, I just it was weird. And I didn't want to like I, I it's hard telling somebody that you like the guy that they're with in general. It's just weird. It's, yeah. So I was avoiding confrontation for sure. And I apologize for that. But I um and we hashed out. She's like, listen, like I just want like you to be happy. I want him to be happy. The problem is between me and him. How he went about things has nothing to do with you. Like her and I didn't owe each other anything. So we were fine. We hunted it out. Everything was fine and dandy. But then Rob came by during our conversation and handed her the necklace, and she just grabbed it from him. Didn't even acknowledge him and kept talking to me. And then he was just like, <laughs> so that's like that's why things just kept getting hiding because it's like they obviously had their problem, but then her and I were good, and him and I are obviously good. But I'm kind of like in the middle. So it was just really weird. But her and I towards the end, like we like when we were like together hanging out with like Liv, we got really close. We did like makeovers on each other. Like we were having fun. And it is like it's TV. Like like obviously people want us to hate each other and like whatever. And I'm sure like I still had my opinions. I still felt what I felt like how everyone was coming for me on what I said on After Sun. Like that's like I maybe shouldn't have said I wouldn't be friends outside the villa. I was obviously upset in the moment. Yeah, because it's probably emotional. Yeah. Everybody was saying how she swayed the vote and she wanted me out. And I didn't have my phone yet. So I didn't know it was like I couldn't like see the episode back. I couldn't like, you know, like see everything. So I was just going off what people said. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm hurt. I miss Rob. And now I'm stuck here. So I'm just like, that's how they get you. Yes. Yes. So (laughs) they really got me. But then I sat back and I'm like, you know what? Like her and I had really good moments together. We got on great. Like she was very mature for like me being with Rob in the sense. So like, I don't know, like she obviously has a very strong personality. And I feel like for me, like I'm not like used to like those type of personalities. So like it's hard for me to get close to people like that. But we we got on great. And obviously when I was mad and emotional, I talked my shit. But Because <laughs> I feel like, I mean, it's reality TV, right? There has to be like a battle like you know they especially with women they want to see like two women fight over a man but really they're not going to show like the parts like that so that's why i wanted to ask you because i was like i'm i know for sure you guys probably were just like sitting there hating on each other the whole, the whole time you know just, yeah i like, know i mean we're living together like it's like you can't exactly. really have that much animosity towards someone it just makes the whole situation worse and all the girls all of us we got on really well we got really close so- really fast like I generally miss them all. Like I'm very excited to see all of them, especially Nicole. So um, but yeah, we all we all got along really well at the end of the day. And like obviously we all have our opinions, but there's so many personalities and energies there that like it's hard. It's like a sorority house. It's gonna it's there's gonna be drama. No, like even though you're not it happens, but at the end of the day, like we all have love for each other. So it's right. never like that deep. Exactly, because you're, like, experiencing this thing together. So it's, mm-hmm. you know, like, there's a bond that happens there. Okay, so now, you know, like, that you're off the villa and you're watching the – are you watching the show? Girl, I am locked <laughs> in. Popcorn in hand. I'm watching with my family every night. My family's just there, like, supporting me. They're, like, analyzing everything, giving me their opinions. Like, I'm here for it. My girlfriends are texting me. Like, I have, like, 10 group chats with different friends of people, like – keeping up like we're all so invested right now so i want to know your so thoughts your- of like obviously because you and rob had such a strong connection and you were voted off which okay let's i'm jumping i have adhd so i just want like to jump everywhere <laughs> yeah so i'm like wait we skipped over like you just being voted off let's go to you <laughs> getting voted off so what was that feeling like did you think that they would pick you because it was down between you nicole and janae which was such a tricky thing and situation to be put in like what yeah. was like running through your mind during that moment i was honestly like there's no like i really didn't think i was gonna be voted off like i was like obviously i wasn't as close with the girls but this is also like what everybody doesn't see like yes i wasn't spending as much time with the girls as everyone else was but i still was spending time with them i still developed like friendship with them i wasn't super close with some of them as they were with each other but also they had been in there way longer than i was with them so their bonds were way stronger um but we have we got on really great like serena would break my hair at night like leah and i would like talk shit Liv and i were having a time we'd always like make breakfast together in the mornings like i was with the girls we were hanging out i just yeah. obviously was more with rob but anyways 
that aside, I was like, I know they're super close to Janae. I know they're not going to send her home. Like I just knew deep down that wasn't going to happen. But a part of me thought like, oh, you know what? Maybe they will because they see like how strong Rob and I get on. Like they all like if everybody was looking for me or Rob, they they we're always together. Like they always like where's Jan Rob somewhere. Like they knew right. they knew it was real. They knew we weren't just like BSing and just coupling up or whatever. Like we just always wanted to be with each other. And so I was just like, okay, they see that they they're not going to send us home. Like we have such a strong connection. And then obviously Nicole was still with Kendall and like kind of considering Miguel. So I was like, okay, I don't think they'll send her home. So I was like, really in my mind, I was like, okay, they're either going to save Janae and send Nicole home or just like break their own heart and send Janae home. But I, I don't know. I didn't see, like I had an inclination that maybe a part of me will go home, but I really didn't see it coming at all. Yeah. I really thought like, I mean, I was, just flabbergasted to even have the choice between the three of you guys but like I thought maybe Nicole you know and so when it was you I was like and then and then everyone else started going crazy too like it got like so dramatic and like heightened like was there more to that scene that we didn't see because I feel like so much happened in that moment yeah I mean honestly it was it was insane like I was just like this when Serena was giving her speech that's when I knew I was going home when she started saying, oh, I feel like some people are playing it safe and not exploring connections and oh, that, yeah. I knew right away. That's kind of like in that moment, I just felt like my body shut down and I literally looked at Rob and I'm just like, I'm like, I, it's me. Like, I know it's me. And that really stung because they kind of said I wasn't exploring connections. I was playing it safe. But like I entertained Aaron, didn't like him. I pulled Connor for a chat. He was great, but it wasn't my speed. I talked to Miguel when he pulled me aside. Like I was open, but obviously when you have such a strong connection with someone, everything else is just here. Like you just start comparing everything to that connection and you're just like, okay, I'm not going to waste my time on somebody that I don't care for. Like, I don't know if they wanted me to just entertain people for fun, but I wasn't there to do that for fun. Right. Uh, But yeah, it got really heated. Like the guys were like going like super upset. Like Aaron started crying, Rob started crying, like all the girls are going back and forth. And then I just left. The guys went to go talk to Rob to try and convince him, I guess, to stay or just hear him out. And then I went upstairs and I was just in shambles talking to um, Nicole and the girls are coming. So it was just like a whole like thing. I left and Rob came and talked to me and then he went back down and talked to Aaron. It was just like so much so happening. Much. Yeah. It was the longest dumping, I feel like, in Love Island history. <laughs> like I was like two episodes. <laughs> I was like, Christ. I'm like, I don't think I have that many tears in me. I never like and before saying, oh, well, you weren't really crying. I'm like, why the hell would no, I look, appear? You looked myself? like you were crying. Yeah, that's like, it's weird that people would say that first off. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, like they, teardrops they, or like, something. <laughs> like you yeah. were definitely like, crying. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Let me, like, like that one guy from Love Is Blind. I was like, wait, let me just yeah. put some eye drops yeah. in. Yeah. Wait, Crazy. but also they're like, you have 30 minutes to leave um the villa and i'm like this is not 30 minutes i know well, <laughs> like, is it a hard 30 minutes like do they really like have a countdown do or do like that? actually yeah, i don't know no, if you could I... say because i guess that's you know but well, i listen we have no concept of time in there regardless even if it was or wasn't i couldn't even tell you i never we never knew what time it was we don't know how long anything took so but it definitely felt very long i mean i had time to pack to talk to rob to talk to nicole to talk to the girls like it was a whole thing and like it it took a while because it was just the fact that what the reason why was because it wasn't a normal dumping. Normal dumping is like when a couple couples up with somebody else and they're already right. in, in their mind prepared, like, okay, like they're gonna fix someone else, I'm gonna go home. It's okay, like there's my closure. It was like blindsided. Like we didn't we couldn't I couldn't mentally prepare for that. It wasn't I didn't get any closure because it wasn't him and I deciding to like end things. It was everybody else deciding everybody for us else. to end things. Yeah. So it was so emotional and so like insane. I'm like, this is like, how is this real? Like, what do you mean this is it? Like, I need to see this through. Like, what do you mean? Like, I wanted to test the connection. I wanted to see how far it went. And now I'm just like sitting here like, okay, like now I have to go home and like be like upset and angry and emotional. And like, he stays there and deals with it, which is fine. But like, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect him to leave truthfully because we did just meet. And I knew like people would be in his ear and be like, hey, like, you know, if this is real. She's not dying. Like you can meet her after and see where that goes. So, and I get it. I 100% get it. at the end of the day, like people come on here, obviously to find connections, but it's exposure too. And I'm sure like he wants to see it through. He wants to see who he can meet. And the show goes on as they say. And I generally was really confident in our connection that I was like, you know what? Like, yeah, like stay, have your fun, see it through. And if we link up at the end of this, amazing, beautiful. But I would like to get some closure at the end of the day, whether we like move past this or move on with it. Like 
and like see where it can go. I'm happy both ways, but I do need like some type of closure. Right. I was like, um, that, that is not closure at all. That was just like forced upon you guys. Like no one yeah. had any control of the situation. Like I honestly feel like you guys will get back together. Maybe just because I'm like rooting for y'all, but I'm like, because yeah. I don't think like him and Daniela right now are like fine, but I don't think really? he like. This is my opinion. I don't know if anyone else needs to like don't this. Don't tell but me I don't this because he... I'm the Lulu girl. You're going to make my right, eyes right. Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm not sitting here bad watching this, like, I'm locked and I'm like looking. I'm like, how is he looking at her? What is he saying right. her? He me too. Me like that? No, he wasn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like same. Because I'm like, I don't think he's as into her. Like, I think he's attracted to her. But I yeah, felt like 100%. what he had with you just as a viewer, I was like, oh, he like likes Andrea. Like he likes being around her. I and mean, yeah, but Daniela just seems like an attraction. I don't know. Maybe it's still like early days, but like hmm. between them. But I just, I don't know. I felt like you guys had more of a connection. Yeah, because I was saying, I was saying the same too. I'm like, I was like analyzing her, and I'm like, yes, it is early days. But him and I clicked after the first day, so that's I was so like, true. that's when I knew my connection was so good. I'm like, okay, maybe yes, it will take them longer to get there, but we got there so fast. And like the reason too, I know like it was genuine and it was like a real connection was because if it wasn't. I don't think he would have been like, I'm leaving and I'm just like, and I'm leaving with her. Like, right. I could tell if he was really hurt. If he didn't really care for the connection, I was like, okay, like she was cute. She was fun, whatever. Like next, like, I think he would have been sad, but I don't think he would have put on that he would leave. Like, right. Because if I was coupled up, let's say with Aaron. He almost said, I, I love put, you. Yeah. Which everyone's saying he's that like, they think I love, he did that. I really like Everyone's it. saying he like, he, that was like fake or whatever. So like, I don't know. I would love to ask him that but i would love to ask him too but i mean it almost it was almost like he because he meant it but he, he knew it wasn't the right time in the right situation yes. i don't know maybe i'm the lulu too girl but like I, girl, i'm like i think he I does <laughs> like, so yeah. and also to like leave a strong connection where he did really like leah for you yeah. it says a lot about your guys's connection too you know yeah and that's why i'm like i don't know if if like him and Danielle are, are just as strong, but I don't know. But what, okay. what are your thoughts on like watching back? Like, do you okay. like, what are your thoughts on everything? And is okay. it, you know, the relationship between Danielle and Rob? Yeah. Yeah. So like watching back on my episodes and comparing it to like theirs. Well, just like after like post Villa, you already left and you're watching everyone else and watching Rob go through, you know, yeah. all that. Like, what are your thoughts on what's happening? They're not right now? showing him as much, actually. And like, they're yeah, not showing they're their not. connection as much as like the airtime with you and Rob was like a lot more. A lot yeah. More. But anyway, yeah. What what do you feel watching? I so, of course, I'm analyzing everything. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> with my little pen and pad. I'm like, okay, is he initiating PDA? Is he saying something? <laughs> I'm like, watching. This is probably not mentally sane for me, but I'm just like, listen, I am Delulu, but that's not always the Salulu. And I need to humble myself. I love it. And yeah. I, see things because <laughs> I am not going to sit here and wait around. While he's like Ooh. living his life as he should, like he's doing, he needs to do okay. support, pop off. But I'm not just gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm gonna wait for him. No, I like, I need to like humble myself and see it through. And if like he ends up finding connection, like amazing, like it's not meant to be then. But I do like to like watch and like be like, okay. And when I did leave, I saw like how down he was. I saw how he wasn't entertaining everyone. I saw that he was kind of just there just to be there. And I'm like, shorty, just come home then. If it's like, you right. know. You're right. But <laughs> I think, I think, and I respect him for staying because, like, obviously it shows that he's, like, level-headed as well. And he's, like, not just going to throw away this opportunity for a girl he just met. Again, like, if it's meant to be, we'll see each other later. But it's just, it's obviously tough, like, also because he gets to kind of, like, see it through on his end and, like, be distracted with the villa, with the boys and the challenges. And, like, I'm just here seeing his face everywhere. I'm on social media. I have people coming for me every day about our connections, whether it's good or bad. Um, people saying he should have left with you, like, F him, like, this and that. And I'm just like, well, you know, I, I'm not mad about it. And, like, people want me to be mad about it. But it's tough. And, like, obviously, right. I don't like seeing him, like, kiss other people. Like, that's so weird. But... I feel like I have an advantage now too because like he's doing all that and I have all the tea and like I'm just here like living my life and trying to like stay distracted like it's just more so too like I'm watching the show for him but I'm also watching because I did befriend these people and I do care about them so I am watching to kind of like support the girls too, support Nicole like see what's going on like see if Cordell finally finds love <laughs> like right just, which like, ooh. 
it, yeah, so that's Jesse, a whole, yeah. yeah, it's not fun. Like his parts when he's entertaining people, especially watching Daniela, him and Daniela, it's kind of like it's not fun. But at the same time, I'm very confident and like whatever we had. And yes, he can meet someone else. And yes, he can share something with them. But I feel like every connection is different. And I even know right now, if I was to meet a guy, like I would still be comparing what I had with Rob to them, which is not fair, but that's just how much I really liked him. So I'm like, I don't think like that just gonna like go away. Like it's, it's still there and we didn't have closure. So it's like, we don't know. It's just, it just, the the whole way and yeah, just like fucked everything. (laughs) Like it just didn't, it like, I can't move on yet. Cause it's like, I don't, I, what am I moving on from? He like, he didn't tell me that he doesn't like me anymore. Like he tells me like, Hey, like this was great. Whatever. Bye. Like we're friends. Perfect. But I need something because I still like, have feelings for him and I still care right. about him. I would love to like see what it is. <laughs> see it explore that. Yeah. No, I love that. I- I'm definitely rooting for you guys. I mean I I love Leah. I'm a Leah stan too, but I mean this of is course. now just like I'm yeah. also like an Andrea and Rob stan as well. And I think <laughs> like I maybe mean, I'm just as Delulu as you, but like I think it's gonna you guys are gonna Me too. I also yeah. like I mean, Leah and I- Miguel. I think they're cute. Yes. Like yeah, I, I like are, them too. The little pairings are different now. We're just we're yes, not in I Leah and Rob like, anymore. <laughs> listen, yeah. Leah has a very strong personality, and Rob has a very calm personality. And yeah. I always gravitate to guys like Rob, like very laid back, go with the flow. Because I'm kind of like I'm not like as strong as a personality as Leah, but I am more outgoing, and I like a guy that balances me in that way. A guy like Miguel is like is just like me, like personality wise, and it's like it's too much. And I feel like Miguel has the backbone to like check Leah. And put her in her place when she needs to. And I know yeah. she loves that shit. So I'm just like, she needs that <laughs> for her. Like, she needs a man to be sure. like, shut up. And this is what we're doing, you know? And like, that's hot. Like, what girl doesn't love that? But I like a, I like a guy more like chill, like, you know, going yeah, to like that totally wrong. Last time. <laughs> we're running out of time. So I have one last question for you. Right. How do you feel about Rob's overalls? <laughs> <laughs> I guys, listen, when you like whatever, when you're blinded by love or lust, whatever the case may be, anything yeah. he does could be hot. He like I, he's catching snakes. Uh, perfect. All of a sudden, I love snakes. Spiders? Never in my life. Want to hold a spider. All of a sudden, yeah, what do you mean? Of yes. course I want to see this spider. Like overall, I forgot about that. In the world. Like he could put on a garbage bag. And I'm just like, wow, that's like so hot. Like he's just He's working the bag. It's doing it's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> like, right. And I, I think it's like you. the confidence that he has too in it. He's just like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just fucking these overalls. He's like, like, yeah, I'm wearing my overalls for the 10th time in a row. And what the fuck is that? <laughs> like outfit repeater, but he just loves it. You know, I don't like, yeah. I love that for him. I'm not. I'm, I'm like, here for complain. it. Listen, yeah. whatever, whatever makes it up. <laughs> the yes. spider was crazy. I forgot about the spider. Yeah, I you forgot about that too. held a spider for this girl I never, never in my life would you catch me doing that <laughs> that's how you know Get my mom my mom when she talked to me she's like mamita i knew you liked him when you put the spider on you because <laughs> yeah you wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's such a boy thing too what is he doing playing with bugs i cannot with bugs. yeah like you but would run I and think- just grab him and he's just like look like yeah. hold the spider and you're like and he did that again to the he did that against one of the Casa girls with like the Beatles. Do you guys remember yeah, that? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, not you reusing your game on her. Right? But like, <laughs> I was like, okay, we'd like to recycle your game just like, like your overalls. I see you. So <laughs> like, not yeah. this flirting strategy. This yeah. is so funny. It's so funny. The, the oh Rob effect. I mean, shit, it works. He's got me. <laughs> Not, so he's gonna, no, like, people play really gravitate mud. towards him. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I think it's like his safety blanket. Okay. Like when he's nervous and doesn't know like what to do, he's just like, "What oh. can I do right now to like?" He's like, "Oh, bugs! Bug. <laughs> oh, bugs! <laughs> yeah, I could never. So I'd be like, oh, okay, bye. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, I'd no. cry. So I'd be like, I have to leave. <laughs> but <right> he, <laughs> he's like, I'm actually this Gavilla. is not okay. <laughs> Uh, but what it is about him is that because like my mom is very into nature and animals like I learned that through her so I've never been the type of girl to like stray away from like spiders and bugs whatever because I like know they have feelings and whatever and they're aware of things okay. but like he has that same personality where like he makes you feel safe because you feel like he knows what he's doing and obviously he mm. handles snakes and like snakes are really beautiful creatures that like, you can get into it but um, they're, they're actually more scared of you so when you think about those things and you get into like logistics of, logistics of things 
it's kind of like okay like they don't want to hurt me like they're cute or whatever you have to be like friendly yeah. with them but it doesn't mean um, i want to like always hold them <laughs> but right. I, was like, oh, look at, I was like look at you like rob got to you and I, <laughs> then the rob effect baby the rob effect oh, oh my god you. i I can't. That's hilarious. Well, this was such a pleasure. I'm so glad we got the time to speak today. Uh, before we go, where can people find you, follow you on social media, and what show you love? Because we're not here to show hate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Period. Okay. Uh, <laughs> on Instagram, Andrea Carmona, my full name with an extra A at the end. And all my socials are the same. So TikTok, YouTube, or that as well. I'm like, on TikTok, after every episode, I go on lives for the most part and just, like, Ew. answer everyone's questions and just get to know the fans. And I love it. It's so fun. Oh. Um, and then Twitter, it's Andrea P, like the letter P, Carmona, my middle name, Paola. Love yeah. it. Oh, yay. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, and then follow me, guys, Stephanie Megan, or go to brokotherapy.com. And then, Nathan, do you want to plug yourself? You don't care to ever plug yourself. I never care, but it's at Nate Lusk <laughs> if you want to. It's fine if you don't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's like, I'm just here for the vibes. I'm here for the vibes. No, literally, literally. Broke, broke, girl, girl, therapy.